Hi, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In the last lecture, we discussed the basics of Laplace transform. That uh, included the definition of Laplace transform, its uh, applications, and uh, condition for existence of Laplace transform. In this lecture, we will discuss two very important theorems of Laplace transform. These are linearity theorem and uh, first shifting theorem. So let's start with the linearity theorem. Let me write down the definition of a linearity theorem. This uh, linearity theorem can uh, easily be extended to more than uh, two functions. So we can say that uh, Laplace transform is a linear operator. This is the linearity theorem for uh, Laplace transform. You can see here that uh, the Laplace transform of f1, a function of time, is uh, f1 bar s if I represent it with the f1 bar s and the Laplace transform of f2 is uh, f2 bar s then if I multiply this f1 with a constant value a and f2 with a constant b and add them then in this way the f1 bar s and f2 bar s the Laplace transforms will also be multiplied with a and b and simply added okay so this is the linearity theorem so this is the linearity theorem for uh, laplace transform this uh, linearity theorem can uh, easily be extended to more than two functions so we can say that uh, laplace transform is a linear operator now let's see the proof of uh, linearity theorem for laplace transform By the definition of uh, Laplace transform, we know that uh, okay, Laplace transform of f of t is 0 to infinity, integral 0 to infinity, e raised to the power minus st, f of t, dt. Okay, so we can write. So this is the proof of uh, linearity theorem for Laplace transform. See here, this is the definition for Laplace transform. Okay, so if I want to find the Laplace transform, I want to prove this linearity theorem. So first, uh, uh, I want to calculate the Laplace transform using this uh, definition, using this formula. So Laplace transform of a f one t plus b f two t would be integral e raised to the power minus st since here this f of t at the place of f of t i will place this whole function a f 1 t plus b f 2 t so e raised to the power minus st and here in this bracket you can say is this whole function now i can separate it this integral and take out this a and b constants and uh, you can easily see and this is a is here and this is the laplace transform of a function named f1 of t and this is by this formula you can see is the laplace transform of f2 t so what is the laplace transform of f1 of t is f1 bar s it is denoted by f1 bar s and here it is denoted by f2 bar s so a f1 bar s plus b f2 bar s is the laplace transform of uh, a f1 t plus b f2 t hence it is proved 
So now we will discuss the first shifting theorem for Laplace transform. This theorem is uh, very important and is used frequently in a Laplace transform. If this is the statement for first shifting theorem, it means if I multiply the f of t with the e raised to the power a t, then the s would be replaced by s minus a. If uh, it is uh, minus of a t, then uh, it would be s minus minus of a means s plus a. Okay, so now let's uh, understand its uh, proof. Proof of first shifting theorem. Now let's uh, understand the proof of uh, first shifting theorem. Here we know that uh, Laplace transform of e raised to the power a t f of t can be written by the definition of Laplace transform. Here f of t is this whole function. Here our function is this whole. So e raised to the power minus s t and this whole function. This is the definition of uh, Laplace transform. Now the simple maths integral 0 to infinity this and these uh, are multiplied so will be added the powers will be added and take this uh, minus uh, out and s minus a okay t f of t dt now we will replace this s minus a with the p here see here here this is s minus a if I write uh, at this place p then it would be e raised to the power minus pt f of t dt okay all the things are same e raised to the power minus pt f of t dt and since this is the definition of a Laplace transform it is e raised to the power minus pt f of t dt would be equals to f bar of p but p here is s minus of a so I can write this f bar of p as f bar of s minus a. So Laplace transform of e raised to the power a t f of t is equals to f bar s minus a. So this was uh, the first uh, shifting theorem of Laplace transform. Hence it is proved. So this was the proof of linearity theorem and the first uh, shifting theorem of Laplace transform. In the next lecture, we will discuss a Laplace transform of some uh, elementary functions with their derivations using various properties of Laplace transform. Friends, please uh, like this video and subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy, if you found it useful. By subscribing the channel, you will uh, get notifications of my videos when uh, I will upload them. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.